Hello guys, welcome back, and today we're going to be talking about the NHL and if they should ban fighting. Now I know when I became a hockey fan, fights weren't really, I did like them, I did like when fights happened, but they weren't my favorite thing. I love the goals, I love the stick handling, I love the dekes, I love surprisingly defensive plays, I love goalie saves. Fighting wasn't quite in there, and I'd rather have see a big hit than a fight. It was just me, and I, I didn't really feel like fighting was a part of the game as much as it used to be, and I didn't feel like it was really the most entertaining part of it. But I know a lot of casual hockey fans that it's their favorite part of the game, and I mean, that's what they talk about when they talk about hockey is the hits, the fighting, and all that. So I know that there's a certain group that loves it. And for those people, of course, the fighting is on a decline throughout the NHL season, so it's going to be disappearing and disappearing even more, which will leave those fans pretty alienated. Now, I was going to talk to Lords fights in the 16-17 season. There's 372 fights in that season, a fights per game of 0.30. Now, we looked at the 2017-2018 season, which, of course, was this past season. There's 280 fights, a 0.22 fights per game, and that was almost a 100 drop difference from two year, from one year even, and that was a huge drop off. I think it was a little bit up 16, 17 from the year before. Uh, I think it was 2015, 2016. I think that 16, 17 had a little bit of a bump up, but it went right back down to a staggering 280. And since the year 2000, there hasn't really been anything close to 280. It's always been like 300 and 400 above. It's never been this low, so it's already been at a record low for fights in the NHL. I know for me it isn't a huge problem from the game quality. I know there's a lot of other things that I enjoy from hockey, but for other people, of course, that sharp decline is worrying for some who really love the fights in hockey. And I think what the NHL needs to do and what us hardcore hockey fans need to stop doing is advertising the NHL to smaller people, the people that don't, you know, follow the game as hard. We need to stop advertising fights like it's one of the big things that the NHL shows in their games because it really isn't. It doesn't happen too often nowadays. And I think we need to stop telling people that it actually does. I think we need to focus more on the speed and skill of the game and focus on that when uh, telling other people about it, when advertising to other people about it. We need to stop and just go a little bit more away from the fighting because obviously it hasn't been showing up as much. Because once I said before, the casual fans, I know a lot of casual hockey fans, a lot of things that they enjoy is the hockey fights, and if we didn't advertise that as much as them, and we showed them some other spots of the game, maybe they'd like that a little bit more than fights, and of course fights are less existent in the game right now, and if this, if they, if they like something more like Deeks and great goalie saves, that happens a lot more in games than fights do. But with fights comes a huge problem with concussions. We've seen that in the early 2000s where there was tons, tons, and early 2000s, you know, the 80s and 90s, just tons and tons of fights. And we haven't seen the effect of them until now. We haven't seen the research come until now to actually see the damage on the brain, see the damage on the body. And we've seen people, people die. We've seen people have serious, serious injuries. We've seen players not even be able to play with their kids just because of how serious fighting can affect the body, and we haven't seen that until now. The reason there were so many fights back then in the 80s, the 90s, and the early 2000s was because they didn't know how dangerous it was. And of course, the main reasons because of those body injuries is because of the fighting. The big hits, they do have something to do with it, but not as much as fighting has affected people. Fighting, it's literally just you're punching people in the face. With big hits, you know, if you get hit on the head, that's something different. But with fighting, it's intentionally starting to hurt you. And with that, I think the Angel needs to distance themselves from. Of course, the old school hockey fans will still want that in droves. They still want that their hockey back in the 80s when everybody was getting punched in the face. But for the NHL, I feel like they need to distance themselves themselves from that and get towards a place where they can't get injured like this. They can't get injured to where they can't play with their kids. And yes, I know, one of the biggest concerns of the NHL outright banning ban banning the fighting is because those old school hockey fans who will want that, you know, kind of had an outrage for it. And I think the NHL is smart to do that, to not outright ban it, but I feel like it could use some work. I feel like even though the NHL could not ban it, I feel like they could subtly make it so that fights can become irrelevant, really a lot more relevant they are than they already are right now. Well, for one, hockey fights are already starting to be really irrelevant in today's game, but I feel like you can improve that just a little bit. When you have a fight, you usually get a five-minute misconduct, and I feel like, or five-minute major, and when you do that, you know, it isn't that much of a penalty. A guy can come out five minutes later, and of course, fight another guy again, but... I feel like if they want to go down that right there, they can do a game misconduct. Make it a little that penalty a little bit more so. While in the drop them off may not be that big when it comes to fighting numbers, I still think that it will be a deterrent. I feel like it will definitely lower those numbers just at least a little bit more. 
And if it's a game misconduct, that makes it a little bit more offensive to not fight somebody. It makes it so if somebody's going to fight somebody, they really hate that guy. And definitely, if that penalty, if that game misconduct were to come in, we'd definitely see the fighting drop off. Not as much as people may think, but I still think that would make it a list a little bit more irrelevant. I think that's what the NHL needs to do. Not just outright ban the fighting. And I feel like if they do that, that will create a big uproar in the community that really does like fighting. So I think they'll want to stay away from that. But I think they will do is to make the rules change a little bit to where they the game is less focused on that and the game is penalizing the fights more to where fights become more relevant and the fights become a more of a penalty against the player if they were to do that. And if that happens, I feel like the drop will be a lot more and subtly but surely it will start to dip. And even though I don't think the NHL, if it were not to ban it, I do think that fights will still happen. They just be a lot less common and they, still they are a lot, they are not even common anymore in the NHL, but they'd be a lot less common than they even are today. But let's say the NHL were to dip that down and have the fights dip that down, that makes it so that fights become ultra rare, and you know, that might actually be good for the NHL. Every fight counts and every fight, you know, shines the spotlight. And while it may be an Arizona versus Florida game where it doesn't have much of a spotlight, if a fight happens and it's ultra rare, we haven't seen for a while, that could be an interesting option if like the NHL were to really shine light on the few fights that actually do happen. And it'll create this kind of mystery around every fight to where they're so less, they're so rare to where there's such a spectacle when it happens. And when it's so rare, you know, you spot, you see it and you shine the spotlight on it. So that would be interesting if the NHL were to go down that route and really shine light on the few fights that were to happen subtly, but make it still happen. And if the NHL were to go to that and make every fight matter and every fight counts and that shine the spotlight on every single fight, so if it were to happen, there would be a lot less fights and it would make sure that every fight is a lot more warranted and a lot better. But overall, the NHL is in a tricky situation here where they don't want to upset the crowd that still wants fights, but they want to get it to where the players are a lot more safe in fights, where the players are a lot more safe in general, and they're going to have to meet middle ground somewhere, maybe just make it subtly to where the fights go down and still keep it that way, but I feel like they'll have to upset one crowd here. It feels like they can't, they gotta take a side here, and I feel like they'll want to go on that safety route. It feels like fights could go non-existent, but I still think that there will be some. It'll just be a matter of time, in all honesty. But honestly, it's gonna be really interesting to see how the NHL, how many fights are going to go next Next year so even though there's not even there's gonna be even less enforcers next year than there are in today so it's gonna be really interesting to see how much more it dips to next year because obviously it's dipped a ton this season so it's just gonna be even more interesting to see how much it dips next year but I think it will get to a point where fighting isn't really too much a part of the game anymore I think it'll be something that's really rare something that you know is aligned with a hat trick where it's really rare it is a part of the game somewhat but you don't get to see it a lot and when you do get to see it it's extra special and I think that could benefit the NHL if fights were to become extra special and extra rare that could create some mystery and some excitement with it but does the NHL need to ban fighting should they ban fighting I don't think they need to I don't think that they should I feel like they should make some rules make some subtle moves to uh, bring down the fights just a little bit more to where the old crowd still gets some of their fights to where the new crowd you know gets that speed and gets that skill and of course the players are just a little more safer i feel like you don't need to ban fighting outright i feel like it's it still happen but i feel like if it should be a little bit more of a penalty towards when fights happen i feel like i will definitely bring it down and make it a little bit more extra special whenever fights do happen but again the nhl is in a tug of war between the two sides that want fighting and the two one side that does not so they're going to have to find an option here and i feel like subtly doing it and subtly bring him down the fights will be the best option here but that's going up for today guys gonna enjoy make sure to like and subscribe and tell me down below what you think of fighting what do you think should happen should they ban it should they just subtly bring it down happy father's day to everyone as well i'll see you guys later goodbye